Mr. Meyer has many religious books, including the various lives of the saints. His collection is a real treasure in such a poor environment. John Baptist visits the mill frequently, and he absorbs the stories page by page. They not only expand his imagination, but they inspire him to live for something greater. The stories of the saints especially ignite a fire in his heart that will continue to burn with zeal throughout his life. Edward, the youngest of the Jordan brothers, would say about John that he was the brightest student in school. In fact, this is the very classroom where he studied. And what he would do is go up to the blackboard and draw a caricature of a person or something comical and evoke laughter from the students and even the teachers. Someone observed him uh, and he said, oh, you know, he gazes out the window um, sometimes and he, he, it's like he's daydreaming. Apparently he had a very active imagination and fantasy life. And then he would bring in creatures into the classroom like a bumblebee or, or even a snake. Father Kessler sums him up and when he addresses him directly and says, John, you are either going to be a very good and very brave man or a very bad one. <laughs>